at the Nutrient Ag Solutions Start Zone. The first of six E races tonight here at the Big E. Ten laps is the distance. Three drivers transfer into tomorrow's General Tire Dirt Track World Championship, and we're underway in heat race number one. As James said, the winner of this one starts on the victory fuel pole here tomorrow night. And it's going to be T Mac Tim McCready powering out front in the Rocket One to lead lap one. Out at turn four, it's still Tim McCready showing the way. Three cars under a blanket there for second, third, and fourth. Dalton Wilson, Brandon Overton, Max Blair, and add the 58 to Garrett Albertson in the mix. Overton, to your point, James just slides up the racetrack, coming off corner number two. It momentarily opens up the door for Mad Max. Max Blair going to try to drive under him. It turns three and four. Can't quite get it done. Halfway home, the battle for third on your screen. Max Blair. Are so good on the big tracks. He will take that third and final transfer spot here in Heat 1. Even with that push, holding steady at a 1.5 second advantage as he'll wheel the car off quarter number four. The winner of Penske Shocks, Heat number one, is going to be T Mac Tim McCready. You got it all in. Green flag is out. Ricky Thornton Jr., the current Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series points leader by 50 points heading into this weekend, leads the field to the green, and he gets a good hole shot coming off two over Carson Ferguson. James Rice, Kyle Bronson, and the rest of the field, and RTJ is going to lead lap number one. And the winner's race starts inside row two here tomorrow night. And now they go into the bottom. Here's the battle for the third and final transfer spot. It's all Thornton and Ferguson. They're going to walk to the UN08 scales, but here's the battle for third. Oh. And Rice gets out of shape. They go side by side at a turn two, Dustin. Down the back straightaway, Ricky Thornton Jr. is going to get the win in this one. He'll start third in tomorrow night's Dirt Track World Championship. Second goes to Carson Ferguson, and James Rice hangs on. We'll see what Jonathan Davenport can do as well as they go green in the Nutrient Ag Solution starting zone. Davenport to the outside now. Rice cuts in front of him out of turn number two. Could both Rice brothers make it out of a heat race tonight? Down the back straight away. Ethan Dotson coming off a career win that ASD Motorsports. Tyler Austin Brashears oh. turning the wrenches on that car. Davenport now dies to the inside. And Honeyl around wall. him. Hoffman in the wall coming off the corner, and he's able to gather it back up, and not before he loses positions. There's Davenport and the 71 of Hudson O'Neill going at it. That's the battle for the final transfer. Hudson O'Neill trying to race his way into that SSI Motorsports 71. Ethan Dotson out front ahead of Josh Rice. Davenport doesn't make it. He would have to come out of a B main here tomorrow night. Right now, Ethan Dotson, the Bakersfield, California, the modified hot shoe. Basically, he's a rookie in dirt late model racing out of turn number two. He is impressive down the back straight away. But how about Josh Rice? How about the Rice brothers? Papa Jerry's got to be happy. And here comes Josh Rice. He's going to take the lead. Threw it in on Dotson High. The caution is out. No. The Dave Warren Power Sports caution is out for Brandon Moore. Nutrient Ag Solution. Three-star Joan Dustin. Good one for Dotson. Here comes David Port up top. He goes to the middle. No. Oh, and Davenport's going to take the lead. What a move. That's a slicker graphic, slickest move of the night so far, Dustin. Wow. Yep, that, uh, you know, I was sitting here wondering if that caution would help or hinder the 49, and it seems to have helped. He just went, and that move right there, he just went from potentially starting 15th tomorrow to now potentially starting third tomorrow. That is a huge, huge swing. The 40-year-old down the back straight away. Ending the UNO8 scales, he will start fifth in the Dirt Track World Championship here tomorrow night, Dustin. Yes, I said third. It was fifth. You're exactly right. Jonathan Davenport is going to win Earnhardt Technologies. Heat race number three. To the 44th General Tire Dirt Track World Championship presented by ARP. See Ziegler swing wide coming off the corner. Three wide for the second spot going into turns one and two. Zach Mitchell, though, holding post up at the front of the field. Now Ziggy going to try to cross him over down the back straightaway. Ziggler drives oh. it in deep, and they make contact in the Dave Warren Power Sports. Caution flag is out. Cross him over, yep. DJ. It'll be Ziggler and McDowell at the Nutrient Action Solutions start zone in Simpson Race Products, heat number four for the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. You know, if McDowell would happen to win this heat race, he'll start second here tomorrow. Has That's, he ever started that close to the front? It's too far front, before? yeah. I mean, he's, yeah. he's got to he come might, from he like seven to start 20th. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, at the end of lap number one, it's going to be Mason Ziegler leading, Dale McDowell second, Bobby Pierce in third. You're looking at the battle for third there on your screen. BP32 has it. Dale Mack making up a little time. DJ, do we have a last lap effort? McDowell up top. 
He'll try to dime it off the corner, down the back straightaway. Ziegler, here comes Dale McDowell. Is he going to try to throw the slider into turn number three, Dustin? He'll drive it down to the bottom in three and four. Here comes McDowell. It's a drag race to the line. I've seen this movie before. Give it to Mason Ziegler by two one hundredths of a second over Dale McDowell. Nutrinac solution start zone. For the outside of row number two, the winner of this race will be, it'll be Jordan Kohler trying to make his first DTWC, the 114. Ryan Gusson, what a year he has had. That Todd Cooney Motorsports Infinity down the back straightaway runs in second. But how about Corey Hedgecock? Hedgecock, sixth in the world, 100. The Butterball Woldridge Memorial winner last week in Richmond, Kentucky. Only the second time he's ever been here in a late model. He was here at the Castro oh, Race. And the wall is Will Harrington. The Bruce Kane 15K throwing it in there. Oh, Tyler Carpenter. <laughs> Down the back straight away, Jordan Kohler. Did you put him in dirt draft? I know you couldn't do that tonight, well, I, but I maybe tomorrow, tomorrow night, the youngster out of Mount Airy, North Carolina. We've seen him several times this year. He's had a lot of speed, but trying to put it into the biggest race of his career, down the back straight away. Here comes Gustin Gustin. No! And Corey Hedgecock's got a problem in the BMF 23, and we will have not yet, but we will have a Dave Warren Power Sports caution for the Loudon Tennessee hot shoe. Yeah, you never know. It could be a rear end, possibly. Here comes Ryan Justin, Drake Troutman, and the 15K back in at Will Harrington. Here comes Boom on the bottom. Down the backs right away. Will, uh, Drake Troutman will go to second at car seven. How about the move for the rookie? All the youngsters. Give me all the youngsters in this one. Kohler. Hitch, or Kohler, Troutman, Harrington, and he got a few veterans thrown in there. Boom, Briggs to the inside no for a transfer. Yes this. way. Yes way. The Reaper and Boom. Oh my. Move over Seneca. Cigarettes out of turn. Four Boom on the bottom of Gustin. Here comes Will Harrington. His first ride in that Bruce Kane car. Harrington to the outside. It is getting sporty here at Eldora. Jordan Kohler, Drake Troutman, you have flow sweatshirts older than those guys as they come out of turn four. Two, no, Barron's performance one to go. Barron's this is the final time around Yeah, Jordan Kohler picking them up and putting them away in this one, James. That is so cool. The 114, the fastest 114 since Randall Chupp. Off corner number four, Jordan Kohler gets it done. And Lucas Oil, heat race number five. Drake Troutman finishes second. Ryan Gustin third. The championship four and win a heat race. We're 10 laps away from finding out the green flag flies in this one. And oh, hang on to it, Brian Shirley. And you know what, Moran there on your screen looks like maybe he's got his hands full. He's doing everything he can to keep the 3S of Brian Shirley at bay. Why is that important? Well, that's the battle for second. The winner of this heat race will start sixth. That battle right there, the driver that finishes second as Shirley takes it away. The driver that finishes second in this heat race will start 12th tomorrow. The guy that finishes third will start 18th tomorrow. One, five, seven, down the back straight away. That's about as strong as we have seen anybody here tonight, Dustin Jarrett. Absolutely, as they head off into turns three and four for the final time. The winner of Lucas Oil Heat Race number six is going to be Mikey Marler. Second will go to Brian Shirley. Devin Moran finishes third. He'll have to come from the 18th starting spot.